Thank you so, so much, and sincerely, like, um, it's not every band that you get out um, before and to their fans, to their community, and that you have such an attentive, wonderful, supportive, and listening audience. Um, I've toured with a lot of bands, I've opened for a lot of bands, and something that I found on this tour is that this specific group of people um, that is following and supporting the collection is one of the most wonderful groups of humans that I think I've ever had the pleasure of getting to play in front of me. Thank you all so, so much. Um, I mean, I, I should have been able to guess just based off of listening to their music, right? And, and I, I've been listening to their music since before my agent ever even was like, hey, do you want to go on this tour, right? Um, and I've always just thought, wow, like, I would love to work with them someday. And, and now here we are, we're like doing it together. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I write a lot of songs about what I call universal human truths. Right, you know, half of why I got into writing music in the first place was to better understand myself, um, and then to better connect with myself. And then, now as that's evolving, as that's growing, is to be able to better connect with other people, um, be able to hopefully help them find, you know, not in a preachy way, but like if you can find a piece of yourself in my story, um, and in my lyrics, and in my words, in my songs, um, in order to better understand and connect with yourself. I think that's one of the most amazing things that anybody as an artist could ever hope to do, right? Um, and like, that's why I fell in love with all the music that I love to listen to. That's why I love listening to the collection of music. Um, and, and one of the struggles, I, I was struggling quite a bit with mental health. Um, I, uh, I released a song kind of trying to reclaim some power over some very difficult moments that I struggled with called We're All Gonna Die, which got a lot of radio play here, actually. Um, and um, I'm going to play a brand new song for you all that was kind of written out of an even deeper and more honest point of that crisis that I was going through. Um, if you happen to be, or if you happen to know anybody um, who's a survivor of, which I'm trying to be sensitive over here, we have kids in the audience, but somebody who's ever tried to um, not be here anymore, um, then, uh, you know, that's that's where this was written from. Um, but, I'm, but I'm now happy to be here. I was, I was very angry about it for a while, um, and I'm happy to still be here. And I think um, part of what I've learned in this writing is, and in this career, and in this life, um, which I know all of you know, um, so thank you for coming to my TED Talk, <laughs> is that we're all a little bit broken, right? And that's okay. And I think so much of what I struggled with is trying to seem like I've got my, sh my stuff together. Um, and as if I have a, that I have it down, that I am perfect, that I can be the perfect partner, that I can be the perfect person, that I can be the perfect artist, that I can be the perfect writer, that I can be the perfect son, that I can be the perfect human being on this weird earth that is not even close to perfect. Um, but it, only because we've made it so, I think. Um, and so in all of that, I decided to write this song about how we don't have to be perfect. It's okay that we're all a little bro bit broken in order to say that we will never hide from our broken parts. Um, and we'll keep fighting even when it's getting hard. And so when you're crying in your driveway in the dark, you know, those safe spaces, right? Yeah. Not alone in you. sing some of that with me. We'll just do the you're all a little bit broken. We're all, we're all, not you're all. <laughs> we're all. It's a unifying thing. <laughs> um, so it just be like this. We're all a little bit broken. Can I hear <laughs> this is a brand new song, it's not out yet, um, but it's called We're All a Little Bit Broken, and I hope you'll, uh, you'll know when to sing if you feel inclined. Um, thank you so much for supporting me and all of my broken parts. You're awesome.